Hi, my name is Christian Mengia. I'm an applications engineer. I work for a company called FreedomWorks Incorporated. You can find more information about us at www.freedomworks.ca. This is a, a short video covering uh, integration of the new Microsoft Visual Studio C++ 2008 Express Edition uh, with X-Plane 8.6 for SDK. Uh, you're going to need a number of files to uh, to go through this example and I've put uh, links at the bottom of the video and you can go directly to uh, those web pages and download the files. The first beginning with uh, Xplane's SDK library and headers. You also want to download the uh, samples of course, you want to have Microsoft Visual Studio C++ 2008. And along with that, you're going to need the platform SDK for Windows Server 2003 Release 2. Uh, that is a particularly large file, so be prepared for a, a, a lengthy download uh, for that file. All right, if we get started... Uh, you'll notice on the desktop here I've got a folder I've created called uh, X-Plane SDK. Inside this folder we have the three archives that I downloaded uh, from the SDK website. The first here is the actual libraries and headers and we're just going to extract those files here. And we're going to extract the SDK samples. and the advanced samples. Okay. Now you want to keep your directory structure set up the way that I've had it. And uh, let's go into our SDK examples. Projects. Windows. Now, inside you will notice the project file SDK examples.dsw. There's a couple of ways that you could open this file. You can actually start Visual Studio 2008 itself. And let's just run through that. By going to File, Open, Project Solution and we'll browse to our desktop inside Xplane SDK SDK examples projects win and you see here we've got our SDK examples.dsw and you can click the open button and that'll open it but I'm not going to open it this way I'm going to show you one other way that I like to use myself that uh, is a little bit quicker if you right click the project it opens up a menu and you can go to open with Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 Express Edition. We left click on that menu selection and we get a dialog box, a conversion dialog box. It's converting from version 6 to version, I think 2008 is version 9 now of the IDE. By the way, just in case anybody doesn't know, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's a software tool that you can use to make software. So we click Yes to All. And as you can see, it opened and converted successfully. One thing you want to do before you start compiling is you want to, a couple of the uh, drawing examples uh, calls a header called gl.h. So what I did ahead of time is, I'm sorry, let me back up. I didn't walk you through this. You go to Tools, Options. You want to go into Project Solutions, C, pardon me, Visual C++ Directories, and you want Include Files, which is the headers. And as you can see here, in my installation, I have it in C, Program Files, 
Microsoft Platform SDK for Windows Server 2003 R2 backslash include backslash GL and that's where that GL.h header is located. Now that I've told the uh, compiler or the IDE where that uh, file is, I'm going to do a build. So we go to build, build solution, and as you can see a shortcut is F7 which I typically use while developing. So we'll click on build solution and I'm going to pause the video while this compiles and uh, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, we're back. Um, that build took on my machine, uh, which is kind of a standard uh, uh, Intel machine running Windows XP. Uh, took a couple of minutes, and uh, your compile time may vary. Uh, as you can see, I've got one uh, 13 succeeded, uh, one failed, uh, zero up to date, zero skipped. Now the one failed, and I had a quick chat uh, this morning with Sandy. Uh, actually, I should say he sent me an email. And that that one failed is this SDK examples. Essentially, it's a project file used in uh, Visual Studio C++ version six in 2005, and it's used to build all of the project files together. Um, it's not really needed with uh, if I understand this correctly, and Sandy, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it's not really needed in uh, in this setup. But uh, as you can see, all the other projects uh, built successfully, and uh, we're going to narrow in on Hello World here. Uh, you can see the copy of the source code. And uh, I want to reiterate one other thing. Uh, please make sure that you have all of the software installed before trying to compile uh, specifically the platform SDK for Windows Server there's some libraries and headers there that are going to needed be needed for this uh, for this sample and of course the Xplane uh, examples and libraries and headers so now that we've built successfully let's move on we're going to minimize the IDE here and we will go back to our folder and you can you can see that we've got a whole bunch of extra files now but specifically you want to look for this folder that was created labeled debug inside of debug you will see another folder called plugins you want to go inside of plugins and you can see your xplane uh, plugin files dot uh, xpl is the extension and for this particular example, we're going to just take a look at Hello World to try and keep it as simple as possible. Now that we have this uh, compiled uh, file, we want to copy it and paste it into the appropriate directory in, uh, in Xplane's files or folders. So we're going to copy this, and then we're going to browse to where I installed Xplane which is in the C drive xplane 8.64 resources and plugins and I'm gonna right click and paste that into that folder and then we're gonna give xplane a run I'm gonna pause this while we get xplane up and running and loaded and show you the plugin in action Okay, we're back. Uh, that load on my machine was about two and a half minutes or so. And as you can see, we've got a uh, dialog box here, and it says, Hello World. We are running and this may take a moment because we're doing a screen capture and running a pretty heavy duty program on X-Plane. As you can see, we're running 8.64 and there is a plugins menu and we can enable and disable that plugin and I think that uh, about covers it I thank you for taking some time to watch my video and I hope it was helpful if you'd like any additional information please feel free to contact me 
at www.freedomworks.ca and click on the menu option, contact us.